Grindhouse Wetware, a Pittsburgh, PA-based biohacking collective, has developed a skin implant that includes lead lights, according to Motherboard. The purpose of the North Star implant is to emulate bioluminescence, a type of light that fireflies and certain jellyfish produce. Sean Sarver, who works on the development team, said the collective was contacted by people in the biohacking community who wanted to light up their tattoos. Tim Cannon, the collective's co-founder, has worn such an implant for two years and claims the process is safe. Zhao in Osterland, who runs a tattoo studio in Sweden, performed a recent North Star implant. He drew a line on a person's skin and made an incision with a small scalpel. The implant is about as thick as a thumb. The process took 15 minutes. One operation took place at the Dusseldorf Cyborg Fair last Saturday while three took place in Pittsburgh. Sarver, who received the implant from Osterland, recently demonstrated the chip's capabilities. He placed a magnet on the implant, causing it to light up. The magnet activated five red LEDs in the implant, causing his forearm to shine for 10 seconds. Sarver said the implant will illuminate 10,000 times before the batteries die. The implants automatically go into sleep mode after they illuminate, preserving battery power. Cannon, who carries a scar on his left arm from his last implant, recently received another implant. He said his previous implant was the size of a pack of cigarettes, which he said was too big. The group wants to transform science fiction into reality, Cannon said. In order to do this, a decade-long study is needed. He noted that Grindhouse Wetware is not an organization of career academics. Instead, they are driven by passion and citizen science. The biohackers don't envision finding support from the medical research community. The North Star implants were initially to take place in Essen at BMX.net, a body modification conference. However, the chip casings, one of the most sensitive components in the implants, didn't arrive in time from the test lab. The casings are important since they prevent direct contact between the chip and the body. Grindhouse Wetware raised capital from an investor last year and will focus on serving the body modification market.